Welcome to Queer Kid Stuff. I'm Lindsay and this is my best friend Teddy. Today we're talking about the T in LGBT. Welcome to the final part of our four-part series, breaking down the letters in LGBT. You ready, Teddy? Ready. Okay. Today, we are talking about the fourth letter, T. T stands for trans or transgender. Ooh, that's a cool new word. Definitely, Teddy. Let's get into it. Do you have any siblings, Teddy? Yes. I have a little baby bear brother. And I have a little sister. Do you remember when your little baby bear brother was born? Yeah. Well, do you remember the very first thing you learned about the new baby bear in your life? Um, that he cried a lot? <laughs> no, Teddy. You probably learned that your little baby bear brother was your little baby bear brother, that your new sibling was a boy. Oh, yeah, that's definitely it. That's the very first thing doctors tell you when a new baby is born, whether they're human or bear. They tell parents that their baby is a boy or a girl. That's called a gender assignment, when doctors announce that babies are boys and girls. But now I'm confused. When we talked about gender, we said that there aren't just boys and girls. You have a really great memory, Teddy. You're right. There's something a bit weird about how doctors assign gender to babies. That's because there aren't only boys and girls, and because not all people identify with their assigned gender. Oh, so the doctors are wrong sometimes? Yes, Teddy. Sometimes doctors don't assign the right genders. When a person does not identify with the gender they're assigned when they're born, they are trans or transgender. People who are trans can be boys or girls or people too. And I can always ask someone their pronoun, just like you taught me. That's right, Teddy. There's also another word you should know. It's the word cisgender. Someone who is cisgender does identify with the gender they're assigned. Okay, so since you were assigned girl and you use she, then you are cisgender. That is exactly right, Teddy. Lindsay, I'm really good at this gender stuff now. Okay, so now we want to know how you identify. You can let us know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching season one of Queer Kid Stuff. We really appreciate you watching and we hope you enjoyed learning about everything LGBT, gay, feminist, all of those fun things we've been talking about. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for updates about season two. And if you want to learn more about anything we've talked about, you can always ask a grown up and download our activity sheets in the descriptions of the videos. And a huge shout out to our patrons at patreon.com for helping us out with supporting this season of videos. All right, that's it from me and Teddy. We'll see you next time on Queer Kid Stuff. Hi friends, welcome to Queer Kid Stuff. I'm Linz and this is my best friend, Teddy. And this is Teddy's Book Club. We're gonna be reading lots of awesome stories together every week. This week, we're reading one of my all-time favorites, When Aiden Became a Brother, written by Kyle Lukoff and illustrated by Keilani Juanita. This is one of my favorite books because it's about a trans boy, and it was written by a trans author, which I think is really, really cool. It's also a book about how Aiden understands how to become an awesome big brother. And I don't know about you, but I'm an older sibling and I can totally, totally relate to Aiden and how it's hard to learn to become a good older sibling. But I think Aiden learned some awesome lessons throughout this book that we're gonna all share while we read today. All right, you ready, Teddy? Let's dive in. This is When Aiden Became a Brother, written by Kyle Lukoff and illustrated by Keilani Juanita. 
Read with permission by Leon Lowe Books. Oh, look at that. It's a signed copy. Thank you for being part of this world, Heart Kyle. Thank you for being part of this world, Kyle. What a nice little note. All right. When Aiden was born, everyone thought he was a girl. His parents gave him a pretty name. His room looked like a girl's room, and he wore clothes that other girls liked wearing. Hmm. Do you notice how Aiden's feeling on this page here? Hmm. Not very happy, right? Maybe kind of sad. Hmm. Let's see if we can, if Aiden gets a little happier throughout the book. But as Aiden got bigger, he hated the sound of his name. He felt like his room belonged to someone else, and he always ripped or stained his clothes accidentally on purpose. Everyone thought he was just a different kind of girl. Some girls had rooms full of science experiments and bug collections. Lots of girls didn't wear dresses. But Aiden didn't feel like any kind of girl. He was really another kind of boy. Ah, oh, Aiden looks so much happier there, doesn't he? It was hard to tell his parents what he knew about himself, but it was even harder not to. It took everyone some time to adjust, and they learned a lot from other families with transgender kids just like him. Oh, what an awesome picnic that looks like. Awesome supportive parents. Love that for Aiden. Aiden explored different ways of being a boy. He tried out lots of names until one stuck. They changed his bedroom into a place where he belonged. He also took much better care of his new clothes. Ooh, look, Aiden looks so much happier there. Let's compare. Let's see how Aiden looked in his room before. Not very happy, right? And now, oh my gosh, Aiden looks so much happier in this room. It looks a lot more like his room, I think. All right, let's see. Then one day, Mom and Dad had something to tell him. I'm going to have a baby, Mom announced. A baby, Aiden said. Does that mean I get to be the big brother? Of course, said Dad, ruffling his hair. Aiden thought that being a big brother was an important job for a boy like him. He wanted to make sure this baby would feel understood right away. Hmm. I wonder how Aiden's going to try to make the baby feel understood. The baby needed clothes, so Aiden and his mom went shopping. There were so many choices. Would the baby like seahorses or penguins better? Oh my gosh, those are just so cool. How can you choose between seahorses or penguins? Uh, which do you like best? Are you having a boy or a girl? Asked a lady. Aiden didn't like it when people asked if he was a boy or a girl, and he hoped the baby couldn't hear yet. He was glad when mom just smiled and said, I'm having a baby. Because that's true, right? She's having a baby. The baby's room needed to be painted. So Aiden and his dad went to the hardware store. Dad chose a gallon of sky blue paint and Aiden added a puffy cloud white. Are you excited for your new brother or sister? Asked the paint guy. I'm excited to be a big brother, Aiden said. The paint guy looked confused. Aiden could tell that he wanted to ask a different question and was glad to have his dad there. Mm. The big rollers were so much fun to paint with. This room feels just like being outside, Aiden exclaimed. He had always felt trapped in his bedroom before he, they fixed it, but his new sibling wouldn't have to feel that way. You're right, said dad. Let's make some shapes in the clouds. Ooh, what shapes can you see? Hmm. I see a dolphin and a bird. Do you see any other shapes in the sky? Hmm. What's next? Every baby needs a name. Aiden loved getting to choose his own, but he remembered that it had been hard for his parents to let go of the name they gave him. He looked for names that could fit this new person, no matter who they grew up to be. Oh my gosh, what cool names. I see rain and, and river and moss and sky and forest. What other names do you see on here? Oh, such cool names. I wonder if any of you listening have any of these names. Babies need someone to read to them. 
So Aiden practiced and practiced and practiced. Ooh, reading in the tub. Dad wanted to teach Aiden how to change diapers. <laughs> um, maybe later, said Aiden. He decided that picking flowers for his mom was more important and less smelly. Two weeks before the baby's due date, Aiden started to worry. Maybe he should have picked different clothes. The blue walls might be too bright. He wished he could ask the baby which name they liked best. Oh, Aiden looks very worried now. Mom came to tuck him in. Are you feeling okay, sweetie? She asked. Aiden put his hands over where he thought the baby's ears would be. Do you think the baby will be happy with everything? He whispered. I don't want them to feel like I did when I was little, but what if I get everything wrong? What if I don't know how to be a good, big brother? Ugh, Aiden, those are such good questions. Mom hugged him tight. When you were born, we didn't know you were going to be our son. We made some mistakes, but you helped us fix them. And you taught us how important it is to love someone for exactly who they are. This baby is so lucky to have you. And so are we. Hmm. What a good mom. The next morning, Aiden found the boxes of his old baby pictures. He looked so different back then. It hadn't been easy, but he really liked the boy he was growing into. Maybe everything wouldn't be perfect for this baby. Maybe he would have to fix mistakes he didn't even know he was making. And maybe that was okay. Aiden knew how to love someone, and that was the most important part of being a big brother. Look at that awesome, it's a baby party. Oh, and Aiden already becoming an awesome big brother. The end. That was When Aiden Became a Brother, written by Kyle Lukoff and illustrated by Keilani Juanita. I hope you enjoyed reading When Aiden Became a Brother just as much as we did. Remember to grab your grown-up and hit the link in the description below to grab your very own copy of When Aiden Became a Brother through bookshop.org. And don't forget that we're doing live Teddy's Book Club readings the first Saturday of every month for Queer Kid Stuff Patreon subscribers. So make sure you head over there with your grown-up and go to the Queer Kid Stuff Patreon, and we will see you on the first Saturday of every month. All right, see you next week. Bye!